Hello everyone, welcome to week six of Literature 221. My name is Mrs. Beth Driver. As you know, I'm your instructor for this course. We have reached the postmodern era of American literature, and we have a number of fun readings, at least in my view they're fun. Um, let's go ahead and pull up the lesson. This week you're going to be reading Joyce Carol Oates's work, Blonde. Um, you'll also be reading a short piece from Tim O'Brien's uh, longer work and something from Flannery O'Connor uh, with Holga Joy, who's the main character of these, these work, of that particular story, excuse me. You'll also be reading the author biographies. Oh, and you'll be reading uh, My Papa's Waltz. Oh, that's a great poem. I haven't seen anyone respond to My Papa's Waltz yet. That's such a great poem. So uh, feel free to add that on to your discussion this week. Uh, you can find the required reading through this link right here, but also I want to click on the next, and then I want to make sure that you read through the lesson. Note that this is the era that's right behind, or the era that we're actually currently living in. Some say that we're living in the postmodern era, but it's hard to say what themes or ideas are going on in the current era that you're living in. Sometimes it's easier to see these ideas when you look towards past history. So generally we think of this as more of a later 20th century uh, viewpoint. Um, this comes about through a reaction to the modern era and it comes starting at around the time of the atomic age and knowing that the atomic bomb could drop at any time, or maybe not any time, but it's something that we have learned to deal with, that mass destruction could occur, and it's out of our hands. So as you go through some of the themes within the postmodern era, note that there is sort of a distortion in time. You can see that in Joyce Carol Oates's work, Blonde, where she kind of moves back and forth through the story, she talks about how it was when she was a child, and then she goes to the future when she's with her uh, brother and some of the issues that they face with their elderly parents. And then it goes back to when their parents were younger. So it does kind of go back and forth in that particular work. There's also black humor. You can see that in Flannery O'Connor's work. You can also see that in Tim O'Brien's work as well. And then there's a sense of paranoia. Certainly you can see that in Tim O'Brien's well. And there's minimalism. In that fragment from Tim, Tim O'Brien, there isn't much that you see about the character, so you do a lot of guessing as to what's going on in that particular work. It's important for you kind of to go through the uh, biographies here because that kind of gives you an idea of why the authors wrote in the manner that they did. And then also... Knowing some of the schools of criticism will help you interpret the works this week. So I, I do want you to go through the lesson before you answer this week's forum. And this week's forum, a number of you have already responded, but let's go ahead and open it up. You're going to focus on three parts here. Note that I will be checking to see that you've written on more than one work. Please don't just focus on O'Brien's story. I really want you to focus on a lot of the readings that we have this week because getting a good feel for this particular era entails you putting a little effort into the readings. Now, you might hear a little noise in the background. That's my puppy, Daisy, who is sleeping and yawning. So anyway, but uh, I do want you to read more than just O'Brien's story. I want you to read all three. Now, note that Coming soon, you will have an essay. Now, it's not up yet, and so after this uh, video is open, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. It's due soon. I would like for you to read the details of that essay. It's a longer work, longer than week two or week four. So please take a look at the details. Um, like I said, I'm going to open it up in a few minutes. And let me know if you have any questions about that particular assignment. Or any questions at all for that matter. I'm here to help you. I'm online all the time. And I'm looking forward to reading your messages to me. Anyway, have a great week, everyone. I hope you enjoy the postmodern readings. And again, let me know if you have problems. Bye.